Okay, today I want to do a video to give you some hope to kind of pump up your confidence and ability to recover. I think a lot of my videos are always like, do this, don't do that, stop doing this, you have to do this. So today, I would just wanna talk about how everybody has the ability to recover, regardless of their environment, regardless of their support system, regardless of their finances, regardless of <clears throat> even past traumas. That might not be um, something that everybody agrees with, but I really do believe that everyone has the ability to rest and to eat. So I get this a lot. Becky, how did you how did you like recover and just do it? How were you so aggressive and bold? I wish I, I wish this is the part that gets me. I wish I could do that. And my question back is like, why can't you? Other than the fear, why can't you? Is somebody actually physically holding your arms down and keeping you from putting food in your mouth? Is somebody forcing you and shoving you out to go for a walk? The answer is no, right? Like you absolutely do actually have the ability to do those things. Sometimes it doesn't feel like a choice. I know when I struggled before I did go into like proper recovery, I didn't feel like I had a choice. But the reason I didn't feel like I had a choice is because I was told, I was told that I couldn't do it on my own. That, you know, my case was, you know, chronic, that I was going to always deal with this and I could just kind of go into remission. I was just told these things. So I just believed the people or professionals that were telling me that I couldn't do this without a dietitian and a therapist and a support team and, you know, a, a, like um, a, a support group, sorry, a support group. If I, if I didn't have all those things in place, there's no way I could get through this by myself because I always got the impression that I was weak, that I was incapable, that I was unable to do this. When I understood and I really broke down to recovery as simple as if I eat and I rest and I stop all of my compulsions, something absolutely has to change in my brain. Now this is separate from, you know, past traumas being healed and, um, you know, any other kind of like life problems. Those are separate. Like those are not all gonna get resolved completely just because you recover. But if we're just focusing on eating disorder behaviors and the eating disorder impacting your life, if you commit to, to resting, to eating unrestrictedly, and to stopping your compulsions, you are going to be blown away at how strong you are. You are going to watch your confidence go up and up and up and up. And that confidence and having that mental space freed up will then allow you to be able to work on the other aspects of your life that maybe you struggle with or things in the past that are hard for you to deal with. Then you can work on and get through those. So. What I do as an eating disorder coach is I really focus in on the eating disorder behaviors. I help people to change those behaviors. And by doing so, I watch them develop into like amazing, amazing, really fun, awesome people. You all have that with you now with, as an eating disorder, with an eating disorder. Like it's not like you don't have all of those things. They've just been so shoved down and so suppressed because your body is so undernourished that you don't see that, you, you forget who you actually are. You start meshing who you are and the eating disorder as one, and they're not. You're not your eating disorder, and you are perfectly 100% capable to recover. Now, I wanna clarify that being said. Does that mean that recovery is gonna be perfect and flawless, and you're never gonna mess up, and you're never gonna cry, and you're never gonna throw a fit, and you're never gonna to wanna to go back, and you're never gonna have any doubts? Of course not. Recovery is not linear, and I made that clear about my own recovery, it wasn't linear. It was a constant push to the end, but it was not like a, the day I decided I never looked back and I unrestrictedly, you know, all day, every single day perfectly. It wasn't, there's a lot of learning going on. There's a lot of observing. There's a lot of becoming aware of things I wasn't even aware of. There's a lot of humility as I had to take feedback from other people that knew me well, that I was still struggling with this or that. It is so much work, it is. But when people just say, oh, I wish I could do that, or maybe one day I could figure out, you know, a way to do what you did. It's like, you actually can right now. So I am not, I am not trying to be condescending for people who are struggling getting started. I am genuinely trying to give you hope to know that you can start, you don't have to be perfect at this. Just start making changes. Just start making changes. 
and you will be amazed as you do that and you allow yourself to feel proud of yourself for doing those things and you don't let the eating disorder take that away from you and you keep focusing on what else you can change and becoming aware of behaviors that you need to work on, things are going to significantly improve for you. Your life will not be perfect, whose life is, right? Your life will not be perfect, but this part of your life, this eating disorder that's keeping you from actually experiencing life is gonna be so much better. So I hope, I hope that this gave you some hope but um, I just think oftentimes we have been so brainwashed to believe that we're incapable, that we're not able to, we're too weak, we're too famished, we're too, you know, we've tried too many times and proven to other people that we can't and all these self-defeating beliefs that are just not true. I believe in you. I don't even know you, but if you're watching this, if you're watching this video, you want to recover. I'm imagining this is, <laughs> this is by far the least entertaining video you can watch on, inter uh, on the YouTube, right? Like, look at this, there's, it, it's just me talking. There's no clips or editing or music or what I eat in a day. It's like, this is boring for anyone that doesn't have any disorder. This is very boring content. So if you're listening to this content, it's because you do want to recover. And I'm telling you that you absolutely can. And I'm cheering you on. And if I'm not individually coaching you as a client, I still care about you. That's why I do these videos every day. I'm not getting paid for these videos. Clearly I have, yeah, this is not a huge impact on the eating disorder community. There's very few that actually follow me, I feel like relative to who struggles. But if you're following me, I really, really do believe that you have it within you to recover. I can't emphasize that enough. So start making changes today. Remember, you don't have to do this perfectly and you don't have to have all the answers when you start, but I know that you can. Have a good day.